You'll notice that my taskbar here is different from the taskbar in my previous training videos. My previous training videos had a customized taskbar, which is what I'm going to show you how to do here. But this taskbar that you see in front of you is the Windows 7 default taskbar. It's what it looks like before you actually customize it. You get three big, large icons here, or pin programs to the taskbar. And then over to the right, you can see both the date and time. And anytime you open up two or more similar programs, it'll combine those programs down here into one button on the taskbar. So if I open up two folders, like exercises, and then come up here and double click on the computer, instead of two separate buttons, one button with the label for a computer, and then another one down here for exercises, it combines it just into one. Now coming from Windows XP, if you don't like that, and you want to see two separate and distinct buttons with their corresponding labels, one for the exercises and one for the computer, then you want to customize your taskbar, and you can do that by finding a blank area somewhere here and right-clicking on the taskbar, and then coming up here and clicking on Properties. Up here on the Taskbar tab, come down below, and there's the culprit, Taskbar Buttons. It's always combining the buttons and hiding the labels. If you want to go ahead and click on the drop-down arrow and say Never Combine Them and Always Show the Labels, then go ahead and select that. Or if you want something in between that says OK, I want to see everything, but if I have too many open programs and it starts getting squishy here on the taskbar, then go ahead and combine then, but not before then. But if you're like me, I say never combine, and then go ahead and click apply, and boom. There we go. We've got the corresponding button for the exercises window, and then one for the computer. These buttons are still too big for me. They may not be for you. If you want smaller icons or buttons, then come up here and check the box, use small icons and then go ahead and click apply. I'm just going to go ahead and click OK and there we go. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.